shown as a conversion graph for converting between miles driven and the price of a hire car. So if you ever hire a car while you're on holiday or something like that, depending on how far you plan to drive it, you'll get charged a different amount because of course it causes wear and tear on the car, um, maybe on the tires or something like that. If someone's gonna drive 10,000 miles with it, of course they will be charged more than somebody who's gonna drive 10 miles with it. So here, there's a graph that basically lets us figure out how much it's gonna cost if we wanna travel a certain distance. So if we had a budget of 100 pounds, like in the first problem, all we would need to do to figure out how far we're allowed to go with that amount of money is find where 100 is on our price axis, our Y axis in this case, go across to where that meets the graph, and then we'll go down to where it meets the X axis. And you can see it's exactly halfway between 100 and 150. So that's 125 miles. To convert 300 miles into pounds, all we need to do is find 300 miles, in this case, on our X axis, which is there, go up to where it meets the graph, and then go across to where it meets the Y axis. So you can see this is a couple of minor squares past 150, so we just need to figure out what a minor square is worth. That's the small little squares. Well, between zero and 50, there's five squares. 50 divided by five is 10. So each minor square is worth 10. So two minor squares will be worth 20. So this is 170. So to travel 300 miles, it would cost 170 pounds. Why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can enter a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that explains all the steps for the problem.